Will Self, Seoul, the people of Britain, what does all this mean? Well, I think a lot's been said. Uh, I think it does mean that we're seeing the politics of anxiety dominate rather than the politics of conviction. I think I've seldom seen an election with so little ideological content, in a way. Uh, and I also think it, it, it means that there is an incommensurability between the political questions we face and the constitutional questions we face, and they're not the same thing. Everybody's been trying to kind of square this circle uh, in the campaign, and particularly uh, since we kind of pretty much knew the result, which was very early. Uh, Toby, what, what do you draw from it? Well, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think the reason the Conservatives have won a majority is because all the fundamentals are so strong. Two million jobs have been created since 2010. We overtook France as the fifth largest economy in the world a few weeks ago. The economy's growing. People didn't want to risk that. And I think there is a clear divide between the centre-left Conservative Prime Minister and the uh, sorry, centre-right Conservative Prime Minister and the left-wing socialist now departed leader of the Labour Party. When Labour is led by someone as left-wing as Ed Miliband, it typically loses. And when it's led by a centre-right, sorry, a centre-left social democrat like Blair, it wins. Hmm. They pick the wrong brother. Well, I mean, it's, it's interesting that in your introduction you say we're of such different political outlooks. The difference really between us is that Toby... Uh, doesn't understand that this is what Freud would have called a narcissism of small differences between the major political parties. That's what they've been hoisted by. But, but why but, then but does, it, like the why does it create a degree, such a degree of fear? There is a fear factor in this thing. The fear that it won't work. I there, don't think if you're on a zero hours contract or you've got some frothy coffee job in a, a chain coffee store or you're in the northeast that you're sitting there thinking, oh, we've gained so much economically under the coalition, we don't want to lose it. There are a lot of very disadvantaged and very disgruntled people. And in that's this something you're very aware of, Toby. Well, I think if, if people were as disadvantaged and as disgruntled as Will is implying, then we might be looking at Ed Miliband in number 10. I mean, only 2.6% of the workforce are on zero hours contracts, and 66% of them are very happy with them. And I don't think it's small differences between. Um, ONS found that out. I don't think it's small differences. I, mean, I think it's. Example, it, left, Ed Miliband was pretty seriously left wing. He wanted to introduce price I controls, think Toby's going to be rent controls. For I yeah. mean, he was, uh, he was more, more further to the yeah, left than but, any leader but, since but Michael But the fact Foot. is, there was an enormous amount of negativity, some really repulsive stuff written by... Um, the, or by the Labour Party. Well, okay. pretty repulsive stuff C written claiming by Claiming the Tories were going to privatise I mean, the NHS. Let me quote here, the public consensus, there's something a bit off about it. He doesn't smell right, he's got a bit missing. What a revolting thing to say about people. What's the point? Well, I, I think everyone in politics uh, is pretty rumbunctious. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a sort of gloves-off arena. It's a kind of licence to oh, be yeah. aggressive. That's the nature of the business. But believe me, Labour are every bit as aggressive about, you know, the Bullingdon boy in number 10 as Conservatives are about uh, Labour. Well, it's just the nature of the game. Well, here you go. I mean, Toby seems to be sizing up to become... I mean, it was only the Tory partisans who pushed this idea that the Labour had swung decisively to the left. There was no real evidence of joined-up thinking on that at all. And what I see is the same old, you know, the ghastly phrase, punch and Judy politics, uh, two, if you'll forgive the, the joke, two kind of follically challenged people fighting over a comb. Because the truth of the matter is that the grounds for that kind of adversarial politics have, sh have shifted decisively. Briefly, and, Tony. And you may have repressed it with a little majority for now, but it's going to rear up like the proverbial garden rake. I disagree. I think... Um, oh, Labour's you've laid that to rest. No constitutional problems for you, Tony. I think Labour's got to take a, a good hard look at itself. Uh, but I think uh, the reason it lost, one of the reasons it lost, is partly because the economy is thriving, partly because right. Ed Miliband was so left-wing. He well, wanted to do some pretty seriously left-wing things. It was his father's legacy. Thank you both very much.